I have another big book to read with you. This is Pete the Cat and the First Thanksgiving by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete was nervous about being a pilgrim in his class Thanksgiving Day Parade, the first Thanksgiving. Just do your best, said his best friend Callie. Pete said he would try. He he was ready. His mom had even made a pilgrim hat, which was really cool. Pete took his place at the front of the giant ship that his class had made out of cardboard. Pete was the pilgrim on the Mayflower. In 1620, the group of pilgrims decided to leave England for a new world to build a new life. It was a long, long trip on a big, big ship. All the pilgrims sang. The sea was rough and very dangerous. Many pilgrims got very, very sick. The dream of a new start in a new world made the hard trip all worth it. For more than two months, the pilgrims sailed. And they wondered if they would ever get there. After 65 days on the ship, the new world finally came into view. Land ho! cried Pete, and all the pilgrims did a happy dance. The pilgrims arrived in the New World at Plymouth Rock, what is now Massachusetts. Everyone had many chores to do, like growing food and finding water and building shelters. The first winter in, new, in the New World was long and hard. And in the spring, the pilgrims had to decide whether to give up and go back to England or to keep trying. <clears throat> the pilgrims heard about the Native Americans and many worried that they would not be friendly. Pete had never met a cat he didn't like, so he thought he would be go so they thought he, they would be kind. Pete was right, and he made a new friend in Squanto. Squanto and their Native Americans showed the pilgrims how to grow crops like corn, beans, and squash. By summer, the pilgrims had learned how to farm the new land. By fall harvest, the pilgrims had plenty of food, and thankful and to thank Squanto and the other Native Americans, the pilgrims invited them to share the harvest. The celebration became known as the First Thanksgiving. Pete was so relieved that when the play was over that he had remembered all his lines. Wow, I never thought about how hard it was back then, said Pete. You did great, Callie said. Later, at Thanksgiving dinner and his family, Pete said that let's all go around the table and say something we are thankful for. I am thankful for my family, said Pete's mom. I am thankful for my skateboard, said Bob. What are you thankful for? I am thankful for the brave pilgrims who started this brave new world, said Pete. The end.